Alright, now here's an image from that shoot. I'm just going to quickly workflow it. Now I do have this at full size because I do plan on giving them a print. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a defog, which is filter sharpen unsharp mask 2060. And then I'm going to go in with my clone stamp and under lighten mode, I'm just going to go around and just lighten up some of the baby acne that little Courtney here has. Oop, a little too much there. There we go. Now I'm going to adjust my curves. I'm going to do a little bit of an S curve here and give it just a little bit of a contrast. Perfect. And I'm going to go into selective color, image adjustments, selective color. And in the reds, I'm going to pull out the cyans and I'm going to pull up the yellows just to give it a little more of a skin tone look. Perfect. And now with my dodge tool and midtones and a low opacity of 20, I'm just going to come in and just tweak my whites of the eyes. Beautiful. Now let me just see what happens. Hey, you see that dance here? Let me see what happens when I go to high. Maybe I can kind of vignette this a bit. There we go. Just. I don't know. Let's just see what that looks like. Nope, kind of like it there, so I'm going to leave it. All right, next I'm going to apply the Haji Soft action. All right, there we go. And I'm going to bring back at 100%. I'm going to bring back the eyes. Let's bring back the mouth, maybe the nostrils. And with a big huge brush, because you know that's looking way too soft. Let's go a big huge brush, let's say at 20%, and let's start bringing back some skin tone here. Now, I'm actually going to go to 100% around the outer edges because I don't want any of the clothing to be soft. And there we go. And now I'll come back in with good old 20. Let's say just about there. Perfect. Now let's add a let's add a pinstripe. So I'm going to take my color picker. I'm going to choose some of the skin here, and let's go say 0.3 inches in the canvas size. And what this is going to do is it's going to increase the canvas size, and it's going to use the background color here. So there's our pinstripe, and let's do that again. Alt I S for our canvas size and let's go four inches for this one. Give it a nice big canvas. There we go, just like that. Now let's bring in my a logo. I know I have my logo here. Hodgins logo, perfect. Now I have this logo on its own layer, so I'm simply going to use the move tool and I'm simply going to click, drag, and drop. Now I can get rid of that. And I'll do a free transform. And I'm just going to select that layer and I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm going to paint it in with the same color that I used for my pinstripe. Just like that. Deselect. Actually, I think we're going to have to go a little bit darker. Let's try that. There we go. Ah, right, perfect. Now let's figure out this. Go view new guide and we'll do a vertical guide at 50% and that will show us exactly where the middle is. Perfect. Just like that. Now let me just see something here. There we go. And I'm just noticing just right in here we'll use the patch tool I'm just going to do a little bit of a there we go perfect
flatten it and I'll print it I'll sharpen it and print it and there we have it just like that quick simple